have many credits. Yeah, they did change the words, so. Oh! You don't see this effect when you're in... What you call? So, okay. Let's see. What one do I have for... Yes, but... Uh -oh. Things are so okay. Um, uh, hmm. I don't know about that car. I don't think I ever noticed this on her. What I think now it's gonna be more noticeable when she's doing that. I can't. Yeah. Give her an aura. I have many credits. You are not Yeah, uh, I don't think this car is worth it. Again, I hate these cars. What? They do this. They they make these cars too good. And then you make other cars not worth it. Huh. Are you kidding? She had two different real animation. So it's not consistent.
in a row. So. So, okay. This is unfortunate. Is okay, is the it is percent. It's super percent. I guess. I have many credits. See, like, they give indication for stuff like this. They could do it for other people. This is my domain. Like, if you have indications, you can do this for other people. So. Yeah, it's more, it's like it's more noticeable in third person when she's going to the guard now. Kasumi! Okay. Kentuckian, Kasumi. My world is immaterial. I but thought he lowered it. Wait. Oh no, it's just base your Okay, let's. Ah, uh, they didn't even bring up my lore. Oh, her third person is lower. Yeah, it's a lot lower. I'm sorry, wait. Does it reveal you now? Yeah, you can, you can tell. Like the uh, uh, radius of attack is a lot lower, so you used to be able to hit them all the way out here. Like it was like all the way out here, like this. But now it's literally the it round the uh, mark. Like if uh, you can't go too far outside the mark. Sorry, area, yeah, sorry, area is a little wider than the mark, but yeah, the, it's literally indicated by the mark. Oh, yeah, they need to shrink the mark size. Because, yeah. Yeah, 
Like Fernando is barely inside of Mars. She's way outside. She's a lot smaller, and yet her mark is bigger. Yeah, look at this. Fernando. Oh, wow. Oh, it's really changed. Is it? That's why. I never know so like right. So, okay, so, so while walking up to Fernando, items ways to see them suffer. his range is about the same as the mark on all of his body. Then when you get closer, it get wider. So it's now not because you're in this range, but you're also within his range. 
But when you get closer, the mark goes to lower by. See where it, it focuses on the uh, waist? It's not focused on his upper body, which is where you can hit. It's focused on his lower body. That means if he has a wall in front of him that's mid-high, that's mid -high, she can attack him, but he can attack her. The same with certain stage. So if they move this up to middle of her body, he will, she will be able to attack him, and he will be able to attack her. But as it is now, where it is in the middle of her body, or his body, he, if there's a waist-high wall, she won't be able to hit in the waist-high wall. Basically, the size of this box of lore. And it ain't uh, this side of this box or lower, like like these pedestals. Anything that like this, she won't be able to attack them. I think there's a box over here. That small box. This small box right here is a size where they can attack her, but she can't attack them. Uh, any other boxes? I don't see any. But yeah, they need to move the targeting reticle on this. Higher, because the fact that the targeting reticle is basically prioritized the middle to lower part of body means that's where it's main focus. If it was talking the middle, like below the head, but below the head, but above the waist, but below the head, that's talking that she can attack above the head and below the waist. I didn't know this before because I never thought about this. But yeah, that's where I need to be fixed. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Vanessa. Now, many people don't understand that this card is a spray up buff. So I have this card in my little, uh, I didn't run it because it crossed on a set time. But now I'm going to go to card by only because I think this is the one. Now that it's not on set time, it's so much better. Here's why. Get it? Now with this one, I can have this. I'll have this at max. Before it was on timer and it was a set amount. But now you can do this. Okay. Uh, why wasn't this in the blow up? I had this. You can do this. Something like this. Watch your step. Oh, I want to do that. Wait. Did they just try to pull towards me? Hold on. Okay, you can do this. And because it's not a set amount, it's basically when you teleport, you get that. Just get the bonus. So, it's also, if I do this, and then I, like, for my taste bit, <coughs> I teleport in detail for 30% of my health. Like. Also, if you notice, she, her, she doesn't really have a an accuracy. Yeah, it's a spread, but she can hit a lot of shots. And I'm still shooting. Let's see. Let's see what other things you can learn in this little other.
No. Yeah, you can run this. Oh no, this is the mine. I thought that was the that's why. Uh I wasn't using mine. I was like, wait, why is it not working? I had the wrong one. I'm not going perfectly. This game goes 25 and you know that. Hmm, you could do it somewhere like this. Hold on. Escape route ready. That's 13 in a row. Yeah, you got 900 gold, you just have the timer, right? Triple kill. Like, if you just at 12 teleport, and the timing should be at 12, you should be able to teleport. Now, should you go that talent with it? Maybe? Oh, you can't shoot while oh, teleport. Okay. Oh, hey, you can't shoot while teleport. That's all. Okay. I thought you could shoot while teleport. No, you cannot. Maybe there's something that could change about her where you can still shoot while teleport. Maybe that can be something that changes up. You can Miss make me. it a lot harder to shoot while teleport. Maybe they could do that 
I mean, prior to I teleport or something. Uh, that's not the thing. So, little bit. Duration being free to 6.5 and Okay, again, with little, I again, I she need more ammo. Her ammo count is just super low. It doesn't buy me something nice. Doesn't feel great. It doesn't feel great that ammo count is four. Like. She has a power that lower her damage output and make her ammo for wait how much? Twenty five, twenty five to four. Like it's four twenty twenty three. Four six and nine. Okay. <laughs> Maybe they did have a purpose. I don't know. Maybe they did out of her. I don't know. Again, high res doesn't show you stuff like that. Like, you didn't know, I didn't know there was gonna be a third person trigger. Also, I, look at where I'm aiming. They, okay, they need a fix up. Look, look at where I'm aiming. Look at where I'm aiming, look at where she's sitting. Look, look. Look, I'm gonna try to shoot at this, that's hard to show. Look at where my target and red player is. Look at where she's shooting. Well, watch when I go back to third person. Look where it went. Or it's first person. Look how high he is. Look at. My target is right there down here, but you threw it all the way up there. And it's not, it's not even directly over where I'm showing, it's to the side. Like, I'm showing right here. She showed there. She needs more ammo. Okay, let's set out Swarm. Oh, you can't really test how long it lasts for her. Or style need to be increased. Oh, no, I messed that up. I use that one. This Does feel like it lasts longer, but that's about a good three seconds longer. Let's see how long this will last. 
Uh, so what I have? That's good longer. I have to aim it down. All to the side. Not even straight. All to the side. Like, I see why it's that way. Um. Maybe lower a hand position in third person. Yeah, because the fact that our hand is that high up is why it's so off by it's literally off by her hand position. If it was lower to more to a side, like if my hand was lower to a side, it would benefit her. Also, why does she like? She can have the same frame, but she split. Let's just keep her body like in the same walk frame, but the split is like this. What I still say, what they should do with this move is. Like I, I'm trying to press jump again. It should give her, make her give her a double jump. When showing this, and then when she does this, it could be triggered by pressing jump again. It's sh it, it could. First jump, if she do this, she come down the same way she does now. Second jump, if she does this, um, she does. Look. That's four wings of death. Death wing. I still think she should first like give her a double jump for the wings of death. And then when she goes down after the double jump like this, instead of having a body, she turns to a swarm her back. You basically give her immunity period. When she comes down. After the second jump, make sure got in the kit. It won't be after this and then she come down and become a bat. It'd be after she does it twice and then she jump here and then she comes down, she'd be immune.
like that would give her some a better mobility. Yes, her ultimate increase her mobility and re reduce her charge rate for everything. But I don't tr don't put that in a base on the ultimate kit. See, her ultimate would stay the same. It's just her base kit would change for her wings of death. I think it's cut her wings of death towards spot down by a second. Or down to a second. Oh. Uh, yeah, her escape is uh, really a problem. Yes, you you up this time. That's, that's This is perfectly fine. Because then you can do more shots. This is awful. Because I'm trying to aim at Fernando and I, I got to do this. So, lower her arm in third person to more down to her hip side. That way you won't have this problem. Where I'm shooting here. Like, look at what my target right away is and look at the opposite shoulder. Like, you lower it and put it more forward on her. To be in front of her. Where the active target right away is. So this does not get off by a lot. Um, any other change a little? No, it's just that. Okay, no Dama. Okay, so. Hey, no Dama. Spirit, is this Spirit Toys or in the base here? Ah, no Spirit Toys. Okay, so. The reason people still wait for this because Ripen Gore gives you more healing, uh, but no longer do, does damage. Ripen Gore, people also see Ripen Gore as terrible because it gives you more healing and take the damage away. So it's uh, either or. So, this talent gives you more healing on Mending. I don't know if I have one. I haven't changed in the draw. I feel stronger, healer. Oh, you give you additional. Okay, I see. I I misread it. Yeah, this one. Okay, I see. Let's, let's look at the base kit. Watch your step. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. So, it gives you a immediate burst. Okay. Huh. It does the same thing all the time, it just gives you immediate burst. So it gives you a mini burst, that's that's understandable. What what I again what I would say is maybe for the standard increase it by fifty percent, but cut the damage by fifty percent. Maybe. This talent reduce the charge rate. I, I still say something that will help me down. Wow, well, I wait, is this off too? No. See see like how Mel Dama is. His target right now is directly on, but he got his snake it's going over. It's over the side, but his is on. Okay. Like it does damage. So you can lower the damage. You can lower the damage instead of taking it away. Like I'm gonna switch to the talent, and I must wait. 
I like the little. Oh, I see. see, now it does go down. It does zero damage, but still proc as it has to do damage. Interesting. So you can use it that way. But look, they can't heal. Process and doing damage. So yeah, you can just lower the damage by fifty percent. But okay, here's what I was trying to say earlier before I forget. Um, well, Kono's wrap. Oh, oh, no, I gotta probably check on people. You can't make it so when he slitter through people with with Kono wrap, he does damage. Instead of having to boost reload, this does damage. Or you can put that in his base kit, where this does a, a like 200 damage when you split through people. Like this, when you split through, he does 200 damage, and uh, we're going to wrap up that to, what is it now for the reload? 500? Maybe? Okay, maybe... Uh, maybe up the, I got, I, I have this in for Meldon, huh? I probably have something in my setup where I had him doing, remove the reload, reload speed, but up the, up the bank, I don't know. Uh, let me just type in more corners graph. I mean, I misspelled it really terribly. Oh, ah, bloody. No, I have it here. It just wasn't pulling him up. Weird. So. Yeah, yeah, that will have to be lower. I'll pay by 300. So, the snake and recording wrap. Off my three. That's my first thought. So my first thought was to have like the snake and splitter does two hundred on toss. Then you up it by three hundred when you do a ton of Let's see how much it actually does. Cool. Yeah, it'd be 500. And then both of them will be 200. So when you pass through somebody, it does 200. So basically, the snake will be low or do 200. Base kit. Slitter, when you pass through somebody like this, will do 200. Base kit. And it went in front of rats. Both of them will be up to 500. And we'll just turn it. Make sure I pick it up. So. so 700 will be 500, and when you pass through, it'll do 500. Killing spree. For now. So, that, what it could do. It has. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Rhyming Gore can, again, you can keep it probably at double, double healing, but lower, instead of having no damage, lower the damage to 50%. Yeah, that's a
So you keep that. Oh. Oh no. I wonder why it didn't pull up my dog. I, I see I spelled it the right. Let me double check. I might have to spell it. It might be off one or two letters. I didn't know. I probably put E. No, let me... No, it's spell what I have the same spell. I, 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 I knew I'd double check this. So, okay, so mail down book. Slitter would do a 200 items in base kit. <clears throat> I gave him an extra passive movement when he jumped while slittering. It would do, it will uh, increase the slitter. It will give him a jump ability in slitter. So he would have to jump and go forward. Uh, uh, They gave him more healing. I, <clears throat> in my setup, I gave him an extra CC immune for one second, non ultimate. So, you can make his teammate not immune to non ultimate when he does. Double the damage, uh, half the damage of right and go over, double the healing. And we're going to wrap up. The dash by Give Slither. I got sleeves. Give Slither more utility, basically. Um, So it um I split a rule would be a two hundred damage will pass through an enemy. Then it what I call Cobra Bite is basically um when he pa when he passed through an enemy, if he jumps and land within a set amount of units of an enemy. He would do. He would stun him for one second. So that's why this amount. Now I'm, I had it at where the which can be at fifty, uh, but instead I cut I cut it down to. By forty percent, and then but it's on both the slitter and the which comes. So if he slitter goes on the bite, you get two two hundred damage. With the talent, with the talent, he will deal even more damage. The reload and a slitter will do more damage. You cannot stack the stun of the reload and the slitter. But you will be able to do more damage. And it's not just I reload and do damage. Uh, sweater. But the, again, the other idea is with the sweater is you will have more invincibility frames. Because if he got a runaway, he gets slitter. Then right here, he can jump and will increase the range to about right here. It basically double the range. <clears throat> It will give him more movement. Also, I did that. I did this in my idea because it will give him more vertical movement as well. So if he comes from somewhere up high, he could still do jump and then get more distance. He can probably reach ground so he couldn't before that one. Uh.
Let's see if I can do this. Yeah. He dropped down. <clears throat> if I do it while going up, well, there's... Nope, he still go down. So I'm trying to look out and do it. Nope, he still go down. So they. Yeah. So it will give him. It will give him more attack ability. It will make him. Be less up uh, this. I do this, I do this. I reload to do other stuff. It'll give him a lot more defense on the Because then you use Splitter as an attack. That's five in a row. You use that attack or as an escape. And then you give him a stun on the Splitter. Probably load a stun on the snake to compensate. But it'll give him a stun on the Splitter. That's, what, that's also why I say they don't stack. <coughs> like, oh, I can go down, but I want to try them out. It just... Mm. Okay, pip. Swap the pip. Nope. The up counter is... It's sort of hard to Don't have a load of up counter. Yeah. Wait, is it? Butterfly is. Oh no, it's just for the whole duration. Oh, I see what he did. With. I thought Callus. I right, let me see. Let me switch the next four. Oh, I see. So. That's why the 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 window for Callus. Why? Callus didn't give you bonus damage before. Hey, catch! Huh? Let's let's see. Let's look at his ace, okay? Uh, twelve to fly. Yeah, it was just they'll they'll damage the slow. So with Callus, it changed that to a twenty-five percent increase. Actually, this I did this would be actually better for him. Well, let's, let's look at that. Okay. Well, in self sustain Uh, I can with these fires.
hate these cars here. I really do. Yeah, Pip is more of a tank burst. Busted than. Double kill. Killing spree. Leave the hide. I can't right now. Rampage. And his stuff is aerial effect, so yeah. Oh, wow. Alright, now I have to test that out before I forget. So, okay. Swap off. So I have one of the wait that time. Uh let's see another one. Oh, I really hate these cars. Okay, swap. Hit it. No, hit it. Press. Jump sprint. Too fast. Oh, fuck. You only get two rounds for that. You only get two miles. <clears throat> it actually makes you a lot less mobile. mobile. Straight up, okay. Yeah, it makes you a lot less mobile with that car. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to I'm jumping before I thought it automatically jumps. Yeah, with that car, it makes you less mobile. Let's see if I was going wrong. Let's... Okay, no, no, I was going wrong. It does make you wrong. Just gotta let it jump for itself. <clears throat> okay. We got me. Shiny and crow. Whoa, whoa. I don't know if it's actually working. Oh, 
Oh, you do get some dicks, man. Huh? I don't know if it's working. It doesn't feel like it's working. <clears throat> oh, come on, I keep hitting the wrong thing. The strength of the team is each member. Callus, I'm gonna pick. Wait. Yeah. I'm the third person. Uh. Oh, squirt. Okay. What? What? That was weird. What is going on? What is going on? What? What? I'm stuck. Okay. So you spray in third person, it does that. That was so weird. That was a leader. I don't know what kind of thing. Okay, jump high. I'm trying to get maximum jump high. A little bit lower. A little bit lower. Oh. A little bit lower, a little bit higher. Okay, that's about right. Now. Get a little bit out of those. Oh, it's on elimination too. Oh, right. Let's see. This will do nicely. First blood. You'll remember my name. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a great height. Is it double? I don't think it is. It's high. Yeah, it's definitely high. But it's not higher on walls. So. Okay. Three. It doesn't give the double height on walls. So.
Okay.